Hello and welcome to Gardening Naturally with Green Finger Tips. My name's Josie and I'm your natural gardening coach. So, do you need to water your plants over the winter months? Do you need to water your plants over the winter? Is it necessary still? This is what we're talking about today. Do you need to water your plants over winter? This can depend on where you are in the world. And I'm obviously in the UK, so I wanted to just break it down for you how we are here and give you a few tips on how to manage any watering issues over the winter. If you want to see more videos like this, helping you learn to support and grow your garden naturally, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification to see my videos as they come out weekly. And give this video a thumbs up as well. It helps more people see my videos as they come out and it shows me I'm making good stuff. Give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, obviously. So in the winter time, really the moisture levels will be higher than they would be in the spring and summer. Even in the autumn, it's, they're raise, rising up a little bit, but in the winter time, inherently, we get more rain, we get snow. The weather's colder, so the water that is about isn't evaporating so fast. So we get more moisture around. So the soil's got more moisture in it. The plants take up more moisture. That you wouldn't need to water your plants as much, if at all, in the winter time. Now, if they're in containers or in baskets, they will dry out a bit faster than they would do in the soil because they're a contained unit and can only have as much water as they can get from the atmosphere, like the rain, that sort of thing. Whereas in the soil, they get it from the water table under the subsoil and they get it from the rain and anything else that the water runoff. So the soil will have will hold more water naturally than a container or a basket. So depending on what you're growing and how you're growing, depends on whether you really need to look at watering them or not. Generally speaking though, watering should be an absolute minimum in the winter time. For us in the UK anyway, when we get quite cold and wet winters. If you're in South America or in hotter climates, if we say, in the winter time, you don't get the same cold and wet that we would do here in the UK, then I would possibly say, play it by ear, but possibly say that you would need to water a bit more than you would do here. But I'm talking about the UK today, so having no experience in gardening in anywhere else. So just putting that out there. Overwatering in the winter or waterlogging the ground in the winter can hold some of its own dangers, if you like, its own risks. Naturally, waterlogging is bad for plants anyway. So if you're working with containers, if they are waterlogged, if um, they haven't got holes in the bottom to drain out, they've got no drainage holes, they, this can naturally, um, any nutrients that are left in the soil will get washed out if it floods out. There's all sorts of issues that it can cause. But one of the main issues is when the weather gets freezing, this water that's in this container will freeze and then break your containers. Freeze thawing is a good example of this, having sides of my terracotta pots pop off because there's been a little crack and so water's got in behind the crack and frozen and then it's just expanded where it freezes and then great areas of my pot just blow off and smash. So then I've got pots that look all deformed and funny and cracks. It's it's a real issue, I can tell you, it's a real issue. So, freezing can cause a big problem with plants in the gardens, and you can imagine, if this is what it does to a terracotta pot, imagine what the root system looks like when your plants get frozen in the, in the compost. So, this is why it's very important to manage the drainage in your containers, and a good way of doing this is make sure they've got drainage holes in the container underneath. So they usually have a few around the edge and then maybe one in the middle. But if they haven't, if you've got like a ceramic pot or something like that that hasn't got any holes, just try and make the try and make a hole if you can. I know sometimes it's a really nice pot you don't want to. Alternatively, put a plant the plant in a flower pot and put it inside the container rather than planting the putting the compost into the nice container and planting directly. So if you flower pot inside the container then that will drain the water out and then you can just lift the plant out of the container empty the water out and then put the plant back in that's a really good way of making sure your plants don't get waterlogged and also if they have got drainage holes put the containers on feet you can put these you can buy feet actually like proper container feet they're just little little like square feet type things you can buy them all different shapes and sizes different colors different materials I've got terracotta ones in the garden, I've got um, plastic ones, I've got all sorts of things. I've even got them on stones as well <laughs> as feet. So you can use all sorts of things, but just lift them up off the ground so that um, drainage holes are free flowing. So it lets the water go straight through. This is a really great way of making sure that your compost doesn't get waterlogged. And you also want to manage the leaching of nutrition nutrients in the soil as well. When water rush, washes through things, it 
takes the minerals and the nutri nutrients with them and as they get drained out the bottom of the pot there they go and you can often see this when you've got a patio and you've had a heavy downpour of rain your pots are sat there and you can see dirt sort of around them so it's either from the rain splashing into the top of the pot or from washing out from the bottom of the pot you're going to get it it's natural you can't really stop it rain's quite fierce and it will just wash it through now as it takes nutrients with it it's a really good idea if you try and mulch the tops of your pots with either homemade compost, bought compost, um, well-rotted manure, anything like that, um, a good mulch, good thick mulch to the top of the pot. So it'll just help replace the nutrients that the, the rain is taking away. And I recommend doing this for the garden as well, to mulch the garden into late autumn, winter time, and then that will break down through the winter time as a slow release feed. Not all the plants need any feed in the winter, but it does help condition the soil. So when the springtime comes, the nutrients are there ready to go. And as the plant's kicking off its growth, which is when it needs the nutrients the most, it's there for them. So mulching is really important. I've said this in many videos, if you go back and look through my library. But at the end of it all, you don't really need to be watering your plants over the winter months, but it depends on what plants and where you are and if they're containers and baskets or if they're in the ground. But you don't really need to water them that much, if at all. Look out for water locking your plants and make sure your plants are draining freely. And if you can, mulch the tops of your pots. Mulch, mulch around the tops of your plants to help replace any nutrients that the rain does wash away when it does rain. So, hope you like this video. As I said, give us a thumbs up if you find it valuable, if you found it useful. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you in my next video. See you later.